Welcome grade ones to our first math lesson this week on Monday. Um, for today, I'm going to have you get out your spiral bound notebook, the one that we can write in, okay? And I want you to turn to the next free page and have a pencil ready, okay? While you do that, if you wanna hit pause, just to pause it while you get yourself ready. And today, we are going to go beyond what the numbers we've been working with. So, so far we've done a lot from zero to 10. And starting today, we're gonna to go past 10. And to do that, I have some owls to help me here. So let's count how many owls we have right now. So we have one, say it out loud with me, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I'm gonna add an owl and I want you to say how many I have now. Seven, eight, I hope you're counting with me, nine, ten. So we now have ten owls. Now to count after ten, I'm going to start another row down here. Now if I put another owl down here, who can tell me how many owls I have? In your notebook, on the first line, I want you to put the number. We have 11. Can you say 11? 11 looks like that, two ones. And I want you to write the word beside it. This is the number word. So we can write a number, we can write it in digits, and we can also write it in letters. So the first one I want you to write 11 in digits and 11 in words. Now, if I go too fast for you, all you have to do is hit pause, so then you can copy down the, the word, and then we'll move to the next one. So that's 11, and if I add another owl, what number do I have? 12, can you say 12? And this is what 12 looks like, and this is the number word. Okay, again, just hit pause if you need a little bit more time. And then if I add another owl, how many do I have now? 13, and this is what 13 looks like, is uh, digits and the number word. And that's what 13 looks like. Okay, and if I add another owl, how many do I now have? 14. So 14. And now we're getting into where you'll notice that we have the number four, and now we're adding the word teen. So what's starting at 13, all the way up, you're gonna notice we have the number, like you know how to write four, but now we're adding teen to it, 14. Or the, the previous one we did was 13. Okay, and what comes after 14? 15. So now we have Okay. And if I add another owl, I have 16. You'll notice I'll write the number six and I will add the teen. 16. And if I have another one, how many would I have? 17, can you say 17? And I write the number seven and I add teen. 17, okay, copy that down. Press pause if you need to. 
And we're going to add another owl. And now how many do we have? 18. Yes. So we have 18. And again, we write the number 8. 17. 18. And if we get another owl, our last team we have 19. We write the number 9 and add team to it. And our very last, when we add another one, what do we have? We now have the number 20. And 20, the two comes first and the zero comes after. And this is how 20 is spelled. 20, okay? And that's how 20 is spelled, okay? And what I want you to do for your work today in your workbook is exercise 35. And what you're going to do is you're going to count the number of items and I want you to line it up with the number to practice what are 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 numbers look like. So you're going to match them up and then you're going to turn the page over and you're going to count and write the number in each of the boxes. So count the items and then write the number in the box. And the last final page is what you're going to do is to help us count so you don't have to always start at zero is start with 10. So I want you to count 10 and make a circle around the 10. So then if I have 10, then I can count 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and write it in the box. So for each of these on for question three, I want you to circle 10 first and then start counting after 10. And that's an easier way when you're counting lots of objects. Okay, so that's what you're going to do today in your workbook. And that's sort of like our owls up here. I know my first row is 10. So if I take some off of my first row, how many owls would I have? Well, this is a group of 10. So let's start counting after 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I have 15 owls. Okay, what about now? I know this is a group of 10, so let's start counting after 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, now let's see how many owls do I have up on my board now? Uh, this is all 10, so let's start counting the next row. 11, 12, okay? And that's what I wanted you to do in your workbook. Circle 10 and then start counting after 10, okay? Have fun.